Good morning, everyone. These are the interest rates for March 29th, 2022, as of 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, so the format of these rate emails uh, normally follows uh, me uh, giving you the uh, interest rates, which only takes like a, a minute. And then I take another few minutes to give you some follow on information to help you understand the rates and how you can use them to uh, save money. Now, I realize that uh, mortgage, uh, mortgage interest rates and things related to uh, home loans are not nearly as exciting as um, uh, girls uh, in tight pants with six foot chainsaws or uh, Chris Rock getting the uh, shit slapped out of him. I get it, but um, my videos can save you a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of frustration when you're trying to get the home loan that's right for you. So hang in there and uh, check out the entire video so I can save you some money. All right, so in this column here, you've got the, uh, the advertised rates. We also call them the note rates. These are the rates that you're typically shopping for. And you have a range of rates that you can get. One or maybe a couple of these is, are going to work best for your situation. These are the rates that determine your monthly payment and how much interest you're going to pay over the life of the loan. The annual percentage rate, or APR, this tells you two things. Number one, it lets you know if there are fees associated with a particular rate. See the spread here? This is 3.75 to 4.069. Now you compare this spread down here to let's say this 4.99 and this 4.978. So you can see down here the APR is very close to the advertised rate. And in fact in some cases it's a little bit lower than the advertised rate. So what this tells you is this the higher the APR is above the advertised rate indicates there's more and more fees associated with the rate. So that's how you can use the APR just at a glance. It's, it was developed or created for advertising um, when the, uh, this came out as part of the uh, Truth in Lending Act. This was created so if you're looking at an ad, at a glance you see the 3.75 rate, but then you see the APR, you're like, okay, I know that has closing costs associated with it and since it's higher considerably higher I know it has uh, a lot of closing costs associated uh, uh, with it so that's how the APR uh, can be used to determine uh, if there's costs and roughly how much uh, associated with an advertised rate and then the second way the APR can be used is to determine which one of these advertised rates will save you more money in the long run and if you look at this APR of 4.069 compared to this APR or any of these other APRs like this one 4.978 this APR is lower than that APR that means over 30 years this one because these are 30 year loans so that means over 30 years this one will save you more money even though the closing costs are higher than the closing cost at this rate the APR is lower so it lets you know over 30 years it's going to save you more money now over here these are the disclosures section uh, disclosures right here in this section these rates and APRs are based on the terms in this disclosure over here not all loans are created equal if you have a smaller loan or a larger loan or, or better credit or worse credit or a different type of property you're not living in it that all changes these are called loan level pricing adjustments and every lender uh, has this in fact let me go back over to the uh, internet where these uh, uh, videos where I was just showing you let's go to like say these guys over here so every lender has to show you the disclosures they have to show you what their pricing is based on so you can see here uh, same as I'm I'm doing they're showing you a rate and they're showing you APR but what are these based on well you have to go down the screen or maybe go to the right or left they all have it somewhere and you'll see down here mortgage disclosure you have to click on these and over here it'll tell you what it's based on the credit score for example they're using a 740 credit score I use a, uh, a 680 credit score so that's something that you always want to look at the disclosures don't just look at the rate and get happy 
you want to look at the disclosures to see what uh, those rates and APRs are based on. All right, so that's what's happening in this section here. So for example, this shows a 680 credit score. If your credit score is lower, the pricing could be worse. If your credit score is better, the pricing may be uh, better than this. All right. So finally, if uh, your scenario differs from here and you want to get a custom quote, it is uh, so uh, easy. You can just click at the bottom of this video and it'll take you right to the website where you can use the custom pricing tool and we'll send you out a no hassle quote expeditiously. In fact, let me show you here, pop on to uh, one of my rate videos right at the bottom here on the video. You can click on it like there's one for refinance, one for purchase. You can click it on, on this right here and it'll take you to the website where you can just go through here. It only takes you a minute and fill in your, uh, your scenario on what you want to do here and uh, get a custom quote uh, specifically designed uh, for uh, your scenario and uh, that only takes a couple minutes. All right, so these um, are the rates for uh, March 29th, 2022. Uh, always feel free, if you have any more questions, call or uh, reach out to us in the contact section uh, on the uh, website. Um, have a great day and save some money out there.